I've got a problem because Skyblock just recently released their brand new leveling system and I'm currently only level 85, which might not sound awful, but it means I have this horrendously ugly green color next to my name now. And if I want to get upgraded to the much better looking blue color, I'll have to grind all the way up to level 120, which could take over 100 hours. So I've got a different plan. Instead of just playing the game like a normal person, I'm gonna abuse pay to win to try and get my level up as fast as humanly possible. And the first thing that I'm gonna take advantage of here is the museum because every time I add a unique item, I'll get a little bit of XP. And so I can literally just go to like the weapons page here and just start going down this list, buying all of these items and gaining some levels from it, which is exactly what I did. And actually a lot of the stuff on like the first and second page was so cheap that I didn't even need to start paying to win yet because I already had enough coins to afford it. Eventually though, I did start to run into some more expensive items and drained the rest of my purse. So now it was time to start spending that real life money. And I decided to start off with $100 worth of cookies to see how far that would get me. Which of course also means it's time for your reminder that if you're going to purchase anything off of the Hypixel store, please use code RAGETRAIN to help support me wasting all of my money on this block game. Wait, I'm, I'm like drained already. $100 goes by so fast. I'm so used to doing like $400 at a time. Okay, not bad though. Wait, 100 bucks in cookies and it got us to over 200 million coins? That is not bad at all. Wait, that's like what, 50 cents a mil? And only about 15 minutes later, I was already done with about 70% of the weapons pages. But I had also pretty much completely drained that 200 million coins from my purse again. So I went ahead and purchased another $100 worth of cookies and got my balance back up to 240 mil. And a little while later, I had pretty much added every single possible weapon that was at least reasonably priced into the museum. And now it was time to collect all of the XP to see if it was worth it. I have 112 total museum rewards to claim. I am currently Skyblock level 86. Hopefully this gets me a decent amount of levels. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be a bit disappointed. Let's find out. Okay, there we go. Instantly all the way to Skyblock level 97. Not too bad at all. Obviously though, this was still quite a bit short of my goal of level 120. And while there was still some XP to be gained from the museum if I dove into the armor and special items category, that would be a lot more time consuming and also a lot more expensive. And so I decided to try and look for a different way that I could gain XP. 3 XP per pet score. Are there some pets I could buy that I don't have right- I mean, I don't really have that many pets. Oh my- wait, 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 wait. I, I- I could get a lot from pets. I don't think I have this. 400k? Sure, we'll buy that. Legendary ghoul? Sure, why not? Skeleton horse? 850k? Why not? Level 1 rabbit? Sure. Skeleton? Sure. I think I'm gonna- dude, wait, this is actually gonna give us so many levels, I think, unless I'm overestimating it. Look at how many pets this is. I, I'm gonna try and add all these to my menu and see how much we get. So is that like a- wait, oh, it, it's just gonna automatically give me the levels. We're already skyblock level 98? Skyblock level 99? Come on, skyblock level 100. We can do it. Hey, there we go. Skyblock level 100. Look at that. Wait, so what does that bring my pet score up to? Wait, and we're still only at 205. There's still like another 100 pet score I could I could do here. And after hunting down some more cheap pets, I was actually able to get my level all the way up to 102. After that point though, any more XP I was going to get out of that category was just going to cost me way too much money to be worth it. After taking a look through the other categories though, I saw that crafting level 12 minions gave a huge amount of XP. So I made my way over to the mines and looked into how much it would cost me to make some. So let's see how much it cost me to get this thing to tier 12 because this should be one of the cheaper ones And then based on that I can kind of decide if I want to keep going with it All right, there we go So we got another level up there though skyblock level 103 and that cost me 5.3 million coins Which sounds a bit on the pricey side But it actually was really cheap because each of these level 12 minion crafts was giving me about half of a skyblock level So I went through and crafted the rest of them that weren't ridiculously expensive. All right, and boom there we go That's eight tier 12 minions crafted that gets me up to skyblock level 106 and 55 extra xp unfortunately though that pretty much marked the end of the xp that i could milk out of the minions and I was still 13 and a half levels away from my goal. So with my options dwindling, I had no choice but to return to the museum and try and grunt out those last contributions I could. Like I mentioned earlier though, there were basically no cheap options left when it came to getting XP from the museum. So it wasn't long before I was totally out of coins once again and had to put another hundred dollars into cookies, bringing my total for the day up to 300 bucks. 
All right, there we go. And just like that, I am back up to 194 million coins in the purse. Not too shabby. Hopefully this will allow me to afford the rest of the armor sets I need to max out the museum XP but I guess we'll find out here. All right, just finished buying eight more full sets of armor here. Pretty expensive, honestly, for some of these. Some of them are cheap though too, but uh, yeah, that should definitely help out a little bit. Let me see, I'm gonna go ahead and claim the nine rewards I got from that, all right? That gets me up to skyblock level 112, and I'm at 1766 out of the 2.1K XP for the museum progression. So we are getting close to maxing this thing out. I just gotta get probably another like 20 armor sets, I think. And after exhausting almost every last option I had to gain some XP from the museum, it was time to do another level check. So I guess I'll go ahead and claim my 15 rewards and see where this puts me. Wow. Oh, wait, we got all up to skyblock level 115. That's pretty good. Wait, and I'm almost halfway to 116 as well. Maybe we maxed out museum. I didn't even know it. Oh, right at the end here. 2,066 out of 2.1k. Honestly, though, with the options that are left to me, I think it's best to just leave it there because literally at this point, everything is just going to be insanely expensive for a full set. That's actually super good, though. I'm only four and a half skyblock levels away now from hitting my goal of 120 and getting that new level prefix. And the next strat I'm about to try out here could be very interesting. Before I show you what that is though, I just want to do a quick plug for my brand new Instagram I made. I'm going to actually start trying to use some other social media besides just YouTube. So make sure you follow me over there if you want to see the first Skyblock YouTuber to ever leave their house. Anyways, if you look here under Heart of the Mountain, you get plus one XP for every 2400 powder until 350k. So if I were to hit 350k mithril powder, I'd get about 145 XP. And you might be asking, how exactly can I pay to win that? Well, under the combat section, you can actually buy goblin eggs. And so I just spent like four mil on these things. And now when I throw these every once in a while, a golden goblin spawns in and gives me 200 mithril powder, which I thought might be a decent way of grinding powder, but I'm quickly noticing the rates on these are pretty bad. I guess I can go ahead and test here though. So 64 goblin eggs is about 400,000 coins. And we'll just see how many gold and goblins I get for 64. So that's one there. So for 400k, I got 1400 mithril powder. I think that's going to be pretty bad because at those rates, that would mean I'm basically paying like 700,000 coins per one skyblock XP. Yeah, I just spent like two mil on those goblin eggs and I think I literally got three more XP. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it's not worth it. So I'm basically left with only one other option here and that's gonna be to pay to win skills. And out of all the skills, the easiest one to pay to win by far is probably gonna be alchemy. And if I'm trying to not spend an absurd amount of coins, Enchanted Sugarcane is probably the way to go. But if I just don't care about coins at all, technically the fastest way to do it is with Enchanted Blaze Rods. And this is the pay to win series, so you already know what we're about to do. So I will go ahead and buy a couple stacks of these enchanted blaze rods. And okay, after just four stacks of these things, I am down to 12 million coins in the purse. So hopefully this here is gonna be enough. Otherwise, I guess I'm gonna be buying some cookies yet again. Now on the bright side of things, I do still have brewing stands set up over here from the last time I tried to pay to win alchemy. Last time though, I was only able to do it for like 10 minutes before I just got insanely bored. But this time, if I want to actually get this new level color, I'm going to have to have a lot more patience. I also picked like the worst possible time to do this because they recently patched the ability to use like an auto brewer for this stuff. So the only way to do this now is completely by hand. And after using just one stack of the enchanted blaze rods, I was able to go from alchemy level 28 all the way up to alchemy 33. Of course, skyblock skills are exponential, so each level is harder and harder to get, but this was still a good start. All right, so this is going to do it for those four stacks of enchanted blaze rods that I bought unfortunately was not enough to get me to alchemy 50. On the bright side though, I did get to almost alchemy 43, which seems pretty decent, which also means that I am now skyblock level 118. So I'm less than two levels away from that beautiful blue color. Of course though, if I wanted to get there, I was gonna have to get my alchemy level up a bit more, which meant it was time to buy another $100 in booster cookies, bringing me up to $400 total for the day. All right, and I'm back up over 200 million coins once again. Now, I'm not gonna spend all of this on enchanted blaze rods because I really hope I don't need to spend that much more. I do think though, I'm probably gonna need about another four to five stacks. So I'll just start with four and see what that gets me to. But yeah, with just these eight stacks total now, I've spent like 130 million coins on alchemy here. So 
Hopefully this gets me at least very close to 50, if not all the way there. All right, so I'm down to the last stack of enchanted blaze rods I bought, but I just hit alchemy 49 and I'm basically exactly 4 million XP away from hitting alchemy 50 and maxing it out. And each one of these basically gives exactly 100,000 alchemy XP. So I think if I just take out 40 of them, that should be the perfect amount I need. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and just create a sell offer for these other 24 I have left over just to get like six mil coins back. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and and knock out this last little bit of alchemy so that I can be done with this stuff once and for all. All right, and if I did my math right, these last couple brewing stands here should do it. Oh no, am I gonna be like one potion short? Please no, am I good? Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. There we go, alchemy level 50, baby, let's go. Now, one thing you might notice here though is I am still skyblock level 119 because I am just 12 XP short of level 120. So I do need to find some sort of leveling task to get me that last little bit of XP, but thankfully I think I have the perfect thing in mind. Because if I head over to the bazaar here, I can go ahead and buy some of these purple jerry boxes. Now, I probably don't want to spend too much money if I don't have to. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with just 20, which is like 10 million coins. And we'll see how much that gets me. But basically, if you haven't seen me open these on this account before, they give farming, mining, and foraging XP. So there's a potential for me to level up any one of those three skills, which will obviously give me some skyblock XP. Now, I think because those skills are a lower level though, I'll actually have to level up two of them in order to hit 120. But then once we hit that, I'll finally get the new level color and my mission will be complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening these things here. Okay, perfect. We're starting off with some mining XP. Love to see it. And I'll just spam open them real quick and hopefully it goes well. All right, uh, I already went through all of those 20 and I did not get a skill level up. Actually, in fact, none of these even look like they are close to leveling up. So maybe this is not the best way to go about it. I think instead I'll go back to my old idea of trying to do these golden goblin eggs and see if maybe that will work. Because at the rate that I was getting that skill XP from the jerry boxes, I was going to have to probably spend like over 100 mil to get the last 12 XP, which just doesn't seem like it'd be a good deal for me. Now, obviously before doing this golden goblin strategy wasn't working out the greatest for me either, but I think it's probably the best option I have at this point. All right, I just finished going through about two mil worth of them there. Did I get any skyblock XP? We did. We got two skyblock XP from that. Nothing insane, but at those rates, if I just spend about another 10 mil or so, we should be there. All right, I'm at 99 out of 100 XP for this level up, and I think this golden goblin right here will be the one that gets it to me. All right, I guess not. Maybe the next one. Come on. Okay, there we go. This one. Come on. Hey, there it is. Skyblock level up level 120. So if I open up the tab, there is that beautiful blue number next to my name. And if I go into like a random hub here and just type yo in the chat, you can see that beautiful blue 120 next to my name. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's what I just spent like 400 bucks for is just that little bit of a different color. In my opinion, though totally worth it.